now watching Rebel Life Boxing. On the same fight card as Manny Pacquiao versus Rodina Zhu, guys, we have uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero versus Victor Ortiz. I'm going to give my prediction on that fight. Um, both these dudes have been inactive for quite a while. Victor Ortiz, his last fight, I believe, was 2019. Um, no, 2018, and I think uh, Robert Guerrero's last fight was 2019, so two and three years. Uh, Robert Guerrero, 38 years old, and Victor Ortiz is 34 years old. So, you know, uh, what do I think about this fight, man? We got <laughs> we got Robert Guerrero, man, 36 wins, six losses. He only been knocked out once, and uh, 20 KOs out of those 36 wins. Um, then you got Victor Ortiz, 32 wins, six losses. He been knocked out five times. <laughs> so I'm in three draws. Uh, these dudes almost had the same amount of fights. Robert Guerrero was slightly more experienced by three fights. Um, I, this fight gonna look a little. It's gonna be. Some some spots of that fight you're gonna see it's gonna be kind of sad to watch, especially at like Robert Guerrero when he fought in 2000 and uh, when he fought in 2019 against uh, Jerry Thomas. He should have got Jerry Thomas out of there. The old ghost would have knocked his ass out, but you can see in that fight, you know, he was fading, man. He was slapping a lot of his punches. Wasn't much pop to a lot of his punches, man. It, you know. Um, he just looked like he was just a worn out fighter, man. So, you know, that was in 2019. So two years later, man, he's about 40 years old. So he's 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 way he's out of his prime. He's 40 years old. And Victor Ortiz would be uh, 36 years old about now. So 36, I believe, about 36. I think he's about 36 years old. Um, and you know, Victor Ortiz is probably about out of his prime as well. But Robert Guerrero is definitely way out of his prime. But Victor Ortiz is a little bit more fresh. And I would say Victor Ortiz um, has, he might have a little bit left in the tank more than, you know, Guerrero because of the age and stuff like that, man. Because Guerrero, he, he definitely looked faded in that last fight years ago. So I can only imagine, you know, when you fast forward, it's not to say these dudes don't still be playing around in the ring, training a little bit. They probably do, but especially Robert Guerrero, he, you know, I wouldn't put that past him. Um, absolute, you know, he's a legend in my book. Uh, I don't see. I, I, there's a possibility that, you know, Victor Ortiz, if he still has some steam in his punches, man, he probably could knock Guerrero out. This is two years, uh, two years past his last fight, Guerrero, man. Um, yeah, he probably gonna stop him, man. You know, and and the ghost hasn't really been stopped. He only been stopped one time, man. But you know, age get to you. Um, I would have to give it a maybe like a tenth round stoppage, man. Maybe maybe fatigue or they probably just throw it in. This would probably be his last fight. This is probably he probably coming back because he needs some money. You know, a lot of times, man. These these. These older, these fighters that wasn't really, you know, that wasn't really on top, on the top top, you know, they they really didn't have the biggest uh, paydays or, you know, they just, some some of these fighters mismanaged their money. I don't know the situation, but I guess, or it's, maybe it's the love of the sport. I don't know, but to come back at 40 years old, you know, um, and you figure, you know, dude, dude, probably he's not the most financially secure i don't know you know so and then victor ortiz coming back after all these years most of the time you see these fighters man when they've been gone for years and they come back it's probably it's, it's more than likely most of the time it's because they need money you know but with that being said i see victor ortiz stopping them and he's not gonna look the best either in that ring he, you're gonna see a lot of Spots where he's faded as well. You're gonna see a lot of missed punches from both these dudes, especially Robert. Um, it's gonna look a little sad to watch, but um, 
it's going to be a 10th round stoppage by Victor Ortiz in my prediction. Only thing with Victor Ortiz, man, he never was known for having the best head, uh, defense. He's one of those dudes that come forward with his fucking head a lot, too. Leaves himself open. Um, decent chin, though. That's why I said, you know, I don't really see him um, getting knocked out by Robert Guerrero. I think Guerrero's power has waned uh, quite a bit as well. Because you can see that when he's fighting uh, the Jerry Thomas dude. You know, it just it just wasn't there. He was slapping a lot of his punches. You know, you might see some some spots in that fight where Guerrero have some success, but I don't think he's gonna really do anything to hurt Victor Ortiz. You know, but quite the contrary, I think Ortiz will probably buzz him and hurt him somewhere in the tenth round. Probably gonna get battered somewhere between the middle of the fight, maybe six to ten, and then they're gonna stop it. They're probably gonna stop the fight in the tenth. I don't see a flat. Like a, a straight flat line knockout, I see the the either the corner or the towel or, or the referee throwing in the towel, man. And more than likely, that would probably be the last time you see Robert Guerrero in the ring. He's probably gonna hang up his gloves, you know, from there. But that's just my prediction. We'll see. Let me know what you think about this fight. Like, like and subscribe. Drop a comment and support the channel. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Peace.